Hello dear Akans, how are you all? Are you all ready for today's class? Well, let us begin today's class with novel reading. In Ned the Great Novel, till now, we read till page 49. Let us continue reading from there now. But before we read, let us have story recap once. Okay, so what are the names of Rosamond's cats? Rosamond has got four cats, right? So what are the names? Yes, Super Hex, Big Hex, Little Hex and Plain Hex, right? Where was the last cat Super Hex found? Yes, it was found under the chair where Nate was sitting. How could Nate say that Rosamond likes pancakes? Yes, because he could smell pancakes from Rosamond's kitchen. Detectives, they observe everything, right? Did they find the lost picture in Rosamond's house? No. From Rosamond's house, where did Nate and Annie go? Yes, from Rosamond's house, Nate and Annie went to meet Annie's brother, Harry. What was the funny thing happened at Harry's house? What happened? Yes, Harry painted Nate red. Actually, Harry was a small boy. When Nate and Annie met Harry, by that time itself, Harry was covered with red paint. Looking at Nate, Harry asked, What did he ask? What did he say? Me paint you. Nate thought Harry wanted to paint a picture of Nate. Harry wanted to paint a picture of him. So he said, Good, nobody has painted my picture till now. But what Harry actually did? He just took his paintbrush and that was covered with red paint and then he just shook his hand like this. That's it. Nate was painted red. Right? And he laughed a lot then. But Nate, he did not laugh. He started observing Harry's room. Okay? Let us continue from there. I looked around the room. Around whose room? Harry's room. Who was looking? Nate was looking. Harry had painted a clown, a house, a tree and a monster with three heads. So what all did Harry paint? Harry had painted a clown, a house, a, a tree and a monster with three heads. He had also painted part of the wall, one slipper and a doorknob. He had also painted part of the wall one slipper and a door knob. So when you do reading, no, then you can observe all the things here. What all did he paint? Okay. He does very good work, I said. He does very good work, I said. So these are the two pages which we read today, 50 and 51. Now what shall we do? Read along, right? Yes. Follow the pointer and also listen carefully. Harry had painted a clown, a house, a tree and a monster with three heads. He had also painted part of the wall one slipper, see, you can look at the slipper, and a door knob. He does very good work, I said. Door knob is the handle, you know. See, look at this door knob here. This is the door knob. So, he does very good work. I said. Right? That is read along. And now, as usual, as we are doing vocabulary revision, today's revision words are from 51 to 60. Okay? Follow this red pointer. I am going to read them now. Listen carefully. 
count out about out about people show their right teeth mine back right so revise reading this vocabulary also today and you're also going to do an exercise today that is there on page 17 in your english grammar book that is exercise 4 so what are you going to do here is last week what did you learn which grammar element did you learn you learned pronouns right pronouns are the words which you can use in the place of nouns so let us read the instruction once looking at the picture answer the questions using a pronoun see they have given a picture here and they have also given a few questions so what your task is to write the answers for these questions that is your task but there is extra writing answers you should use pronouns you should use pronouns for example first question follow the pointer what is the boy doing what is the boy doing you know while writing answer for this question you better not write the boy is playing with a ball so which pronoun you can use for the boy so what are all the pronouns that you learnt he she it they we so which pronoun you will use for the boy yes you will use he so you will write the answer like he is playing with a ball or he is playing with a dog okay instead of writing the boy you will use he second question what is the girl doing so what will you write will you write the girl is flying a kite no you have to use pronoun right so which pronoun will you use for the girl yes you will use she she is flying a kite third one where is the monkey where is the monkey so while writing instead of writing the monkey is sitting in a tree or in the tree you can write it is sitting in the tree or it is sitting on the tree branch okay and fourth one what is the color of the sky so which pronoun will you use for the sky yes you can say it it is blue instead of writing the sky is blue you can write it is blue fifth one what are the old man and the old woman doing so which pronoun will you use now old man and the old woman plural nouns right more than one person so which pronoun will come here they you can write they are sitting on a bench right and the last question what are the birds doing you know in your english grammar book there is only one bird so here it is given note draw a bird here you draw another bird here that was a printing mistake only one bird was printed okay you draw another bird here what are the birds doing so instead of writing the birds are flying in the sky so which pronoun you will use here for the birds you can write they are flying in the sky have you understood now while writing answers make sure that you use pronouns so that is your exercise today so what is your learning engagement for today is read the pages 50 and 51 from the novel and use the reading audio resource which is being shared and then do this exercise as we have just now discussed and also revise the vocabulary today's revision words are from 51 to 60 all right okay if you have any doubt write a message to your teacher okay she'll definitely get back to you see you in the next class till then Happy learning!